Former Attorney General in the ex-President Walling's administration, Dr. Obed Yawasamwa, is casting doubt over the Special Prosecutor's ability to prosecute former President John Mahama in the Airbus scandal. Martin Amidu, as you may well recall, in the corruption risk assessment reports on the Japan royalties deal, had identified Mr. Mahama as government official one, explaining he hadn't interrogated the former president because he was preparing for an upcoming election. Dr. Obeda Samwa tells my colleague Benjamin Akaku, the special prosecutor does not have the requisite evidence to prosecute the former president. It will be abrogated and thrown out. I mean, really, this is one of the most... Uh, uh, obscene uh, acts, uh, you know. I mean, the, the process, the the, the uh, people who were put on the board, the uh, incentives that were given to people uh, for the roles that they played, and then the whole idea, the economic aspect of it. I mean, after all, you were going to get about 120 million dollars yearly from your uh, minerals. Now you've just somehow. <coughs> put all that together and you know put it out somewhere for so many years you know you would have been better off taking the 120 million every year <laughs> for, 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 for many years instead of t you know coming out with a program whereby you would only be getting about 500 million dollars I mean I've listened to some of the analysis and it says that within two years, if you look at the royalties we get in this country per year, yes. within two years we should be getting around the 500 million that yes. year yes. We're, we're staking our royalties against. Yes. So, but, but you spoke about you know, those on the board and all of that. Let's talk about Osafu Mahfouz's son, for example. Is it not a matter of merit qualification? He is one of those and it's been said. Uh, Gabi Asari Tridaku and others in the MPP have said that if he is qualified, let's let the person do it. What is the problem with that? Well, was there open competition? That is the issue. They suggest there was. Well, and I, that he qualified, I, having gone through the systems. Well, they will have to demonstrate to us, because there are so many others who are qualified who never heard about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so I think that is where the problem is. Right. You know, but I think that that whole deal has to be thrown out. I mean, really. Taking it back to Parliament is uh, a waste of everybody's time. The, the special prosecutor, <coughs> though he was not meant to do this, also added that he suspects, in fact, uh, to quote him, he surmises that government official one is John Bramani Mahama. I'm sure you followed the Airbus scandal and everything to do with it. How do you feel about that? Well, there isn't any specific uh, mention of it him, of John Mahama, although the, if you read the report and all that, it's kind of points at him. But you see, those who were held accountable in Britain were our admitted responsibility, but on condition of more or less anonymity. I mean, they, they didn't have to mention that A got this or B got that, you know. But in any case, that whole project was under the NDC government. And uh, somebody within the NDC government was responsible for getting that money. So, I mean, there's no way NDC can uh, escape responsibility you know, for it. I mean, so but there's no extricating the NDC from the No, 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 no. I, I can't see how they can extricate themselves from that. One thorny matter that has come up, and I subscribe to it, I feel that if Mr. Special Prosecutor, and he's called Prosecutor for a reason, if he has enough grounds to believe that the former president is government official one, which would put him in a compromising uh, situation, then the time is now, even before the elections, to follow the legal processes. But he has also said that it's a national security uh, situation, and he feels he should allow the elections to go on. But what if the, the people of Ghana elect John Bermani Mahama to become president again? Is the special prosecutor now going to prosecute him, so to speak? Uh, what, yeah, what should you, be done before? Now, I, I want to take well, a you know, legal you, uh, mind on this one. Yeah, but see, that is the thing. I, I have not concluded positively that it is John uh, Mahama. But if he were? If he, if he were, the question is, would you have the evidence to be able to prosecute him right now? You can't. You can only get the evidence from the British uh, uh, fraud office. 
and they will not be able to, they won't tell you that, you see. So it's, very, it's going to be very difficult to prove your case. And that, 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 that I think, is the problem of Martin. I'm quite sure that if we, could, if we had the evidence to prove his case, he would, he, would, he would take action. So you feel he doesn't have the evidence? He doesn't. Get, to get the evidence, you have to get it from the British, and they won't give it to you. Right. Let's talk about <coughs> this briefly before we get into Jerry John Rawlings, who we are uh, memorializing. The NDC lost monumentally in 2016 by some 800,000 uh, votes. After that, there were moves to find out why the party lost and all of that. Do you feel the, the NDC, your party, and I know you at a, at a brief moment left the NDC, formed the DFP, came back to join the NDC. Do you feel the NDC has learned the lessons it needs to have learned as a party ahead of election 2020? 